Hello from the Baron and welcome to Escape from the Pacific. Right, well, first things first, I just want to say thank you very much to Jump Jep Captain, one of my Patreons that has sponsored me to play this game. Um, I have had one quick look just to get used to the controls. But other than that, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go for it. So here we go. Start off in the water. Now this is in alpha. Or early access or whatever you want to call it. They said there's a lot of things that maybe like placeholder graphics. Or things that aren't, you know, quite working correctly yet. So I'm expecting a few bugs. But in the very short time that I had a little uh, run through to understand the controls, I didn't notice anything. Seems to be pretty smooth. So here we are. I found an island. I think it's like you start the island, you get dropped off. And yeah, I mean, there's a an oar by here. Or a paddle. Let's grab the stick. Now, crafting is a little bit strange. And when I say strange, I mean that because it's... You have to, like, put things down on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me just drop this a minute. All right. Oh, put that in my bag, whatever. There's this little stone here that I want. A little rock. Now, what I want to do is, this one out here, is bash the bigger stone. <laughs> and it's going to make, like, more little pieces of stone come off it, as you'll see in a moment. There we go. Now, each of these little pieces of stone, in fact, if I pick them all up, if I can... All of my. You can bash these little pieces of stone into other shapes. So let's actually build my first item. Some tools. I want a hammer. So you craft by putting things on the ground. I've got a stick in my hand somewhere. That there too. Need to get a small rock. And bash this. And now I have a hammer. And then let's make an axe. So I need. <laughs> need more equipment. Let's just put that down now. Bash this. So this becomes like another hammer head, but if you keep bashing it, it'll now become an axe head. Get my hammer. I need another piece of wood. I mean, it doesn't really take long to, to get used to controls, how to build things. Kind of confused me a bit at first, but I soon get over that. And I could probably just smash one of these little trees, kind of little bushes for sticks. And then hunting for another one. Yeah, there's an arrow. Now, one of my. I can't bash that. Well, in fact, Jump Jet himself uh, explained to me that that little arrow. It's a suggestion of what island to go to next. So let let me think about well, what's my objective on this current? Ah, uh, right. I want to keep that on me. Let's drop that. Take that. Out. So what's my objective on this first island? Now I could build a house base. To be honest, I don't think that's what I want to be doing. 
I think I want to be getting off this island as quick as I possibly can. Get myself somewhere decent. But I will need a little shelter of some kind, I think, just to try and... Avoid various elemental things because the the rain and the weather etc is realistic and if i have a look here we have health hunger thirst tiredness stamina temperatures how wet i am yeah various food diversities so i do need to get myself some kind of shelter What are my choices here? Small stick, long stick. Um, banana. Um, banana. Just more sticks. So, can I get fronds? Which ones am I getting here? That that didn't give me anything, did it? I got. Big and a bigger tree. It's <laughs> a big old tree. Got the tree down. Some coconuts. Pam frond. Is he pam frond? Coconuts. How do I get these pans? Ah. Okay, right. My coconuts are going to escape. Hopefully they'll just float in the water, but there's coconuts there as well. These are green. They're just all going to sink in the water. <laughs> not going to worry about that right now. Right, so i got palm fronds. So if i got palm fronds, let's do... Which one? This one. Or the bigger one. So I need small sticks and fronds. Right, two small sticks, one long stick. Did bash a little bush around here somewhere. There we go. I lost my axe. I need small sticks, maybe. Try this. Probably be able to hit the long sticks to make small sticks. Let's find out. Yes. Uh, let's drop this. Excellent. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I do with that. Okay. 
<laughs> How do I use my shelter? I don't know. Not to worry. I have one. Right. There's other things that here I definitely want to be creating. Um, I did notice there are bags, crates, tool belts. So, a palm frond. Is there any more there? There is. We need a knife. Okay. We need the knife. This is a small stick and the stone shard. Okay. I'm just going to start collecting some bits and pieces now, putting them by my base, so that we can get ourselves sorted. See you all in a moment. Okay, right, well, <laughs> been a little bit busy. I've got a bed, um, a bit of coconut. <laughs> I've made a water collector. It hasn't rained yet, but I've got a water collector. I've killed a turtle. And I got some meat on the smoker. I now just have to try and work out how to light the smoker. I've made a, a fire saw. I was confused for a little while about how to get a fire stick. But I just carried on chopping up sticks and I got some. Now I need to try and work out how to actually do this. Is it? Night. No kindling. <laughs> oh, where do I get that from? Okay. Actually, I can put that in my bag. Because I have now a tool belt and a small little side bag as well. Kindling. Let's see what happens if I keep chopping this up. A knife? No. I put it in there. Ah. <laughs> How much can I put in there? Can I do another one? Another one? I keep trying. Wow. Another one? Now, it does say in the tool tip that a smoke works better if my wood is wet. Oh. I says I'm tired as well. Well, before I go and have a sleep, let's see if I can... No kindling. <laughs> oh. Ah, right, okay. Oh. Oh. Getting some graphical issues here. These big white blobs, but it's okay. Um, no kindling. Dan! Right, let's go and have a sleep. Use. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's probably too dark. That'll do. Trim grass. Oh, I didn't get anything. But it might have been some kind of. 
I kept kindling from trimming the grass? Or is it just purely an aesthetic thing? Obviously, we're getting anything. How do I get kindling? Right, I need to carry on having a little look around. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've worked it out. So I can pick up like dried grass and I've targeted it and I know that it's got kindling in it now because if I try and put more dried grass in there, it says can't add more kindling. So let's try again. Oh, hey! Yeah, that's not smoke, is it? <laughs> As it said, it needed to have wet sticks. Oh well. Not to worry. It's just going to probably catch fire the whole thing. <laughs> right, let's put my kindling in my backpack. My fire store saw is looking a little bit ropey. Awesome. I have meat that is raw there's smoking but it's not going to smoke is it um, I don't think I can be able to add wet sticks after the event all my sticks are dry though it's going to be night time now can I do anything with this stick I think it's used up used up. So what use it's still to me I don't know. This isn't gonna smoke. I need well I don't need meat straight away. I it's only day one I've eaten some coconut. But what are my stats like? I mean I <laughs> I don't know if my hunger I think it's the higher it is, the worse it is. That would make sense. Like some of these value, values you want high, like health and stamina, and others like tiredness, thirst, and hunger. I suppose you want low. Yes, yeah, it's going up. Yeah. Now, this bit on the right hand side of my screen, which is a bit confusing, because it says like how to make a, you know, a, a stone hammer blueprint. But I've done that, and I don't know how to get rid of this tool tip on the side now. So that could be a little bit annoying. I might just make another hammer just to get rid of that tool tip on the side. Unless somebody can tell me exactly how that's supposed to function. Um, let's just rest until... Yeah, I'm okay, because then it's going to be dark. It's not that dark. Although, those crickets could get very annoying. <laughs> Let's sleep until sunrise. Oh, it is sunrise, is it? Really? Or am I just unable to sleep anymore? Maybe just unable to sleep anymore. Right, well, I need to start thinking about a, a raft of some kind. So I can move on. But it would make sense that not only would I build a raft, but build like a container, They're like the stack full of food and water supplies. And my raft's going to need like a rudder, probably a sail, paddle. I mean, I've got a lot of things to build to get this raft done. So I think that'll be next episode. First episode here is just to try and get the basics. Which I have. I mean, I've got somewhere to sleep. I've got somewhere that's not smoking my food whatsoever. Ah, teach, teach me, isn't it? I mean, I could just try and cook them. Can I pick up one of these? Can I just cook it? Um, probably not on that campfire like that.
don't think that's going to work. I can make another campfire. A non-smoker. Or, actually, I can build like, the best of both. I can build a dryer. Crafting. So I get, like, if it's... If it's not raining, you can stick this on here. So what do I need? Let me just put this on here for now, out of the way. Um, put a bunch of sticks. Right, I'm going to get on with trying to get myself some food, as I said. Get the basics of a raft done. And probably a lot of storage, so I can start storing things that are going to allow me to survive better on the next aisle so i'm gonna see you all next episode for escape from the pacific <laughs> goodbye for now see you all next time